Good morning, All Saints. It's lovely to be with you. I'm echoey today, you can probably hear. I'm in the church for the first time. We're thinking about how we can open up the church and be able to allow people to come in and worship. Look, if I spin us around, you can see there's various bits and pieces. The organ, you can see down through the church that way, which is good. That's the, uh, the TV for being able to read the words when we gather. And then I'm right up the very, very top. So this is the um, east end of the church. The, uh, this is the, where the big communion table is at the top. You can see the, the cross. If you were normally coming into church on, uh, for one of our uh, assemblies or big gatherings when we, when we come in at maybe Christmas or Easter, then you'd be sitting all the way down over there, unless you were sitting in the choir stalls up near where we are up this end. Um, and looking up to this end, but this is where we've been able to safely gather a few people. So I've got nine chairs out and tomorrow morning we'll have our service um, that we've been doing online every day. It's going to be in here. So I'm here to test it out. Um, hence the, uh, the T-shirt. I want to make sure that we've got, um, I've got quite a bit of work to do. Um, scrubbing floors and disinfectant and uh, keeping everything nice and clean and safe. So I've got a question for you. How do you recharge your batteries? How do you recharge your batteries? What do you do to relax? What sorts of things do you do to enable you to feel ready to face the day and the challenges that lie ahead? Do you like reading a book? Do you like uh, having a nap? Do you like uh, going out and seeing people when that's safe to do that? Do you like uh, going for a run or doing some sport? Do you like uh, having a bike ride? Do you like going to, um, to visit somewhere, uh, like a, a, a garden or a, a house, or perhaps have you been to the beach? What do you like to do in order to relax? In the uh, gospel reading that was set for Sunday morning, uh, Jesus talks a bit about um, all those people who might be feeling weary, who might be feeling worn out, and tired. He's saying that quite often there's lots of rules and lots of restrictions and we're kind of in the middle of that at the moment, aren't we, to keep each other safe. But sometimes we need to make sure that we're still also finding ways of relaxing, of recharging our batteries and getting ready to go. So I'll read these words to you. It's from uh, the translation called The Message. You've got one of these in school um, on the table in the hall where we have the various different Bibles and so on and those pages are open. I'm going to read these words to you. Jesus says, Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me. Work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't, let, won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. I love those words. They're in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11, 28 to 30. You could look them up in your own Bibles if you have them at home or perhaps have a look online and see how the words compare in different versions. But I love that instruction, walk with me, work with me and watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I've got some clips here of different drumming uh, activities. You know that I'm a drummer, you know that I love drumming. So have a look at some of these. The Psalms say, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. So this is for the King and his kingdom.
I think life is best lived in the right rhythm. The right rhythms of eating and uh, um, working and doing activity and sleeping and uh, being awake and resting and uh, um, spending time with friends and spending time on our own. own. It is about having a balance, a rhythm to life because you get into that really simple groove. You can hear my feet just tapping on the floor. You can imagine Jesus walking along the shore by the lake, by Lake Galilee, saying, walk with me, work with me. Learn those unforced rhythms of grace. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's what drummers call being in the groove. When you're feeling that right rhythm so deeply, you can't not stay in it. It just sits there. As you listen to music, as you clap along with music, not too fast, not too slow. Just sat in that groove, in step with the song. That's a good metaphor, a good way of thinking about um, what Jesus is talking about there. Walk with me. Learn those unforced rhythms of grace. Isn't that an amazing phrase? See, to be a disciple... In, uh, in the time that Jesus was around. There are lots of teachers who had disciples. And the, the phrase that, that, that people would use to describe their disciples, the people who learned from these teachers, uh, was that they were caked in the mud of their teacher. Because they'd walk behind them. And as they walked behind them, the sandals that they were wearing would flip up the dust from the teacher the teacher's sandals would flip the dust up and they'd be covered in it as they walked behind, wanting to stay close to the person that they were learning from. As you think about your teachers at school, I wonder whether you'd like to be caked in the mud of their shoes. Probably not. But when we learn from someone, we learn from them because we're close to them. Not necessarily close to them in uh, distance. We need to make sure we stay safely apart but close to them in that we spend time with them. We learn from them. That's the great thing about being at school. We learn from our teachers, all those things that we don't know yet, that we're going to know in the future. Doing that in a right and healthy rhythm, going to bed at a good time, getting up at a good time, having a nice breakfast, being ready to face the day, working hard, making sure we do plenty of exercise, making sure there's opportunities for rest, and relaxation, thinking about those things that recharge our batteries. Life is best lived in the right rhythm. So for our song today, we've got um, that amazing song of praise that we've sung a few times. We've sung that in, in here together, in the church building together, 10,000 reasons.
worship your holy name. And all my day when my strength is failing, the angels live and my time has come. Still my soul will sing your praise. lovely to be able to sing with you. I hope you were able to get up on your feet as you were watching and listening to that and joining in. Maybe you had a little dance living in those, um, that rhythm in step with the song as we've been thinking about today. So we're going to end our time together with our prayer. We're going to go back to our teaspoon prayers, our thank you, our sorry and our please prayers. So if you've got any prayers you'd like to share with me, um, you could email them in, ask your teachers to, to email. Um, if you've got any thoughts, anything you'd like to include in our teaspoon prayers, um, then do send them in and I will, uh, we can share them together and pray them. But for now, let's pray. Thank you, God, that there is a rhythm to life that we can all join in with. Thank you, God, that you are there with us as we journey along. We're sorry for those times when we don't recognise the simple patterns that enable us to be safe and secure and to recharge our batteries. And Lord, please help us to continue to walk in that right rhythm, to enable us to get good rest, to recharge our batteries, and please help us to be the best expression of who you have made us to be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. It's been great to be with you today. I hope that you have a good week. I'm looking forward to seeing you all again soon and to worship with you again next week. Take care and God bless.